Laney, you are the only real girlfriend I have ever had, and definitely the only girl I have ever loved. When I decided to marry you, it was not because of your looks or personality, that of which you have both. It was because of the way you challenged me in my own thoughts and beliefs while pressuring me to act on the things I say I will do, but also having fun and just enjoying life together at the same time. But if we are going to enjoy life together, there are some things I would like to promise to you. The first thing is to listen to what you have to say and keep an open dialogue throughout our lives so that we do not become distanced from each other like so many people do. Also, I promise to just be honest, even when the truth is not so sweet, because lies take commitment, and I'm not trying to make those kind of commitments. Lastly, I promise to say nice things for the rest of our lives. You know what I'm talking about. Above all, I'm going to go to God in prayer for all things in our lives for the rest of our lives. With all that said, I'm glad you made the choice to spend the rest of your life with me because I'm only going to do this once. Nathan, I can't say that the moment I laid my eyes on you, I knew you were the one. Mostly due to the fact that I was an awkward middle schooler and had no idea how to interact with the opposite sex. Truthfully, we haven't had a fairy tale beginning because that's pretty unrealistic. Relationships are a lot of hard work. But one of the best parts of this journey has been growing, learning, maturing, and figuring this all out with you by my side. You are the love of my life, and I stand here today knowing without a doubt, God has made us for each other, and that meeting you in the seventh grade was all part of his divine plan. From a young age, my parents have always told me they were praying for the man I would one day marry. They must have prayed really hard for me to end up with such an incredible man who fits me so well. You have become the part of me. I never knew was missing, and I am so grateful that I get to live the rest of my life with my very best friend by my side. I know with you, our lives will always be an adventure, and I am blessed to have such a strong, passionate, and determined companion with me for the rest of my life. Nathan, I promise to trust you wholeheartedly and without doubt. I promise to listen to you without distraction, even when you talk about conspiracy theories and politics. I promise to be the calm in your storm. I promise to not only love you unconditionally when it's easy, but also when it's hard, because the hard times are inevitable. I promise to be forgiving and patient. I promise to remember that neither of us is perfect, but strive to remind myself all the ways we are perfect for each other. I promise to always keep Christ at the center of our marriage and to always trust the path God has prepared for us. I promise to remember your love languages and practice loving you in that way every day of our lives. I promise to value and support you in whatever comes our way. I'm so excited to be your wife, and I can't wait to see what this next season of life has in store for us. I love you so much. Do you? 